Environmental Studies Series 3. Chapter 7. Water a Precious Gift. Hello friends, I am Rhea. I learned this poem in my class. Let us sing it all together. Water is precious, clear, and bright, keeps us healthy, day and night. Save each drop, don't let it go, for our future, let it flow. Now, I will share what I have learned about water. Water is a special gift provided to us by nature. We can identify pure water as it is colorless and tasteless. Water can dissolve many substances in it. We use it for drinking, cooking, cleaning and washing clothes. Animals and plants need water to survive. This makes water very important for everyone. It means we must save water and avoid wasting it. Let us learn about sources of water, its uses and how can we save it for future use. Sources of water We get water from different sources for our needs. These sources are rain, rivers, streams, springs, lakes, ponds, seas and oceans. Rain Rain is water that falls from the clouds in the sky. It is the main source of water on the earth. Rain forms when the sun heats up water from rivers, lakes and oceans, turning it into tiny droplets in the air. These droplets rise up and gather to form clouds. As more and more droplets come together, the clouds get heavier. When the clouds become too heavy, the water falls to the ground as rain, bringing life and joy to everyone. Do you enjoy the sound of rain and the fun of playing in it? What happens to rainwater? On a rainy day, watch what happens to the rainwater when it falls on the ground. Have you ever wondered where rivers, ponds, lakes, seas and oceans get their water? These water sources are filled by rain. When it rains, water flows into rivers, streams, lakes, ponds, and even oceans. Some of the rainwater seeps into the ground. It gets stored deep below as groundwater. Based on their storage, we can divide sources of water on the earth in two groups as given here. Surface sources of water. The sources of water that are on the surface of earth are called surface sources of water. These are rivers, ponds, lakes, streams, springs, seas and oceans. Groundwater. When rainwater falls on the ground, some of it also goes into the soil and collects deep underground. It fills the spaces between rocks and soil. We can get this water using wells, tube wells, hand pumps, bore wells, or electric pumps. Water from its sources to our homes. You have learned about different sources of water on the earth. But have you ever thought how this water reaches our homes? In most homes, water comes through taps. The taps are connected to tanks stored on terraces or at other high places. These tanks are filled with water brought through large pipes from rivers, lakes, or underground reservoirs. This system helps deliver water to many homes easily. At some places, people get water from wells or bore wells. Water from these underground sources is drawn using pulleys, hand pumps, or electric pumps. In some places, water is often delivered carried by individuals from nearby rivers, lakes, or reservoirs. In some villages, children some villages, children help their parents by bringing water in small pots. It disturbs their studies also. Some people in our country do not have water sources near their homes. They have to spend a lot of time and effort bringing water from faraway places like rivers, lakes, or wells. We should value their hard work and the time they spend just to collect a small amount of water. This reminds us that we should save water and use it wisely. Uses of water 
Water is very important for everyone because it helps us live and stay healthy. Let us know about various uses of water. It is used for bathing, washing clothes, cleaning our homes, cooking, drinking and various other daily activities. Plants also need water to grow and make food. Farmers use water to grow crops in their fields, which provide us with food to eat. Animals need water to drink and stay cool, especially during hot days of summer season. Storage of water. Water is not always available all the time, so people store it for later use. In some areas, homes do not have running water coming through taps or pipes. Instead, people bring water from rivers or wells. Sometimes, it is delivered by tankers and stored at home. In the past, there were no pipes or taps, so people created containers to store water. Today, we use different types of vessels made from materials like clay, steel, plastic, and glass to store water in our homes. Water after use. Water comes down to earth as rain. It fills streams, rivers, ponds, lakes, wells and groundwater. We bring this water to our homes for daily use. We use it for drinking, cooking, cleaning and other activities. After we use water, it becomes dirty. This is called water pollution. Water pollution occurs when harmful things like chemicals, waste, or plastics mix with water. This makes it unsafe for drinking and cooking, and for plants and animals. We should also avoid adding too much soap or chemicals to water. Water is a precious gift, and we must take care to keep it clean and safe for everyone. Water shortage. Water shortage means there is not enough water for everyone to use. This happens because of less rain, wastage of water, and pollution. When there is not enough water, it becomes hard for people to drink, cook, and stay clean. Plants, animals and the environment also suffer from water shortage. Farmers may not have enough water to grow crops. It may cause food shortage. Animals may struggle to find water to drink. Saving water helps everyone and keeps the earth healthy. Simple tips to save water. Turn off the tap while brushing your teeth or washing your hands. Use a bucket to water plants instead of a hose. Reuse water from washing fruits or vegetables for plants. Make sure that taps are tightly closed after using them. Remind elders to fix leaky taps at home. Collect rainwater in a bucket for watering plants. Discuss with friends and elders about saving water. Sharing water. It is a gentle gesture to offer water to others that shows kindness and care. We should offer water to our guests or people who visit us. For example, courier person, delivery workers, or cleaners. Some people keep pots of water outside for drinking, especially during the hot summer months. We should help animals by placing water for birds, squirrels, or stray animals outside our homes. These small meaningful actions show respect and compassion for both people and nature.